Hey there, Droya here, and welcome to this tutorial where I shall be showing you how to create your very own custom wing views using the cockpit camera rather than the showcase cam. So this is what I use in my streams to create the smooth transitions between different wing views, as well as gives you the free look around instead of using the showcase camera which is set to default locked positions. And so a lot of you guys have asked me how I've done this, how I've set these camera views up, and so while there are tutorials out there showing you how to do it, I thought I'd do a video dedicated to this to give more people an opportunity to see what I've done, how I've done it, and how you can do this in your own sim as well. First things first, if you've never edited a Microsoft Flight Sim config file before, then I'd highly recommend you watch this tutorial through first before making any edits yourself. So watch it through one time, learn the process, learn the basics, and then do it for yourself. That way you minimise your chance of messing anything up and know exactly what you're doing. The first thing you want to do is head over to where you've installed Microsoft Flight Sim 2. So in my case it's in C Games Microsoft Flight Simulator and once again you're looking for the community and official folders. Now this will differ depending on where you've installed it to or if you're using the Microsoft Edition or Steam Edition of Flight Simulator. And so on screen now are the default install locations for both platforms. What you're going to do is head into official, not community but official and go into one store. We now have is a list of every single aircraft within Microsoft Flight Simulator in any version, so either the standard, the deluxe, the premium deluxe, it's all in there. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be doing the A320neo, but it does work with any aircraft of your choice. So select your aircraft, in this case the Asobo Aircraft 320neo, head into Sim Objects, Airplanes, Asobo 320neo, or the aircraft of your choice, and then scroll down until you find cameras.cfg. We're then going to right click this file and select edit. This will now open notepad or your default text editor and what you're looking for is this line here, eye point equals longitude, lateral and vertical. What you're going to do is head over to the first one here, so the longitude and what you're going to do is take 40 away from this. So in this case 43 becomes 3. If it was 73 it then becomes 33, if it was minus 120 it then becomes minus 160. So take 40 away from the longitude eye point, as what that does is then moves the cockpit camera from the front of the aeroplane closer to the centre. Now, while this may not sound like a normal thing to do at this point, it will all make clear once you load back in the simulator and see what happens now. So you can save the file, file save control s, and you can close the notepad knowing that you've made your changes. Once you have loaded the simulator and your aircraft of choice, what you'll notice is that the camera now spawns behind the cockpit rather than inside of it. It may look like a glitch, but this is exactly what you need, as out here there are no invisible walls stopping you from moving around and therefore got free movements forwards, back, left, right, up and down to wherever you want. If we turn around now, you'll notice that in the A320 you have two predefined window views. In the 787 you've also got two, in the 747 you have three, two low deck, one upper deck, and then other aircraft will either have a full co cabin modelled or no cabin at all. So what you're going to do is use the arrow keys to move yourself to the window views and save those. In this case as the right hand window is closest, we shall set that one up first. We'll adjust the position as well, so we'll lower the camera slightly, we'll get close to the window and just angle it exactly how we want it. And then, what we're going to do is save it. To save a custom camera viewpoint in Microsoft Flight Simulator, what you want to do is hold down Ctrl and Alt, and then select the number key 0 to 9. To then jump back to that viewpoint that you've already saved, you can then use the Alt key followed by the number to jump to that pre saved view. And so, what you can do is you can position the camera any way you want using Cockpit Cam, save it to Ctrl Alt, say 7 for example. And if you then move anywhere else in the cockpit and want to go back to that save point you've just set, hold the Alt key, press 7, and then you'll jump back to where you were before. And so we can use that to save the window viewpoints after editing that in the config. So using those keys, you can use Control Alt 4. In this case, I'll set to the right hand window. And we'll use 5 for the left and then 6 for the galley. So. Let's turn the camera around, let's go ahead to the next window, 
You can speed up the camera by heading over to camera options and increasing the free look speed. In this case, we'll go up to about 70%, maybe even 90. And there goes much quicker to go from window to window. It's you setting things up a bit quicker. So I'll set a left hand side of view. That will do. Perhaps we'll raise it slightly and go down a bit. That will do. And they've said this is to control Alt 5. And then. Let's have a galley view, like I say. So move up to the back of the aeroplane. We shall raise the camera slightly, so a bit of a higher angle looking down. There we go. And we'll save that to Control Alt 6. So 4 is the right hand side, 5 is the left hand side, 6 is galley. And now we can just choose between the two, so left, right, galley. And using the predefined keys, you can now switch between the windows while staying in the cockpit camera. And finally, if you head back to the aircraft folder, head back to cameras.config and edit the file, resets the longitude viewpoints back to what it was before. So in this case, it was 43. So add 40 back to what it was before. So 33, make it 73. Minus 160, make it minus 120. So bring it back to what it was before. Save again, so file save control s, close that, and just like that, you now have custom wing views and custom camera locations within your Microsoft Flight Simulator default camera setup. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, this isn't just compatible with the A320, but can be done with any aircraft of your choosing. So in this case, 747 has three different window viewpoints available within the model, and that is two on the lower deck, one on the left wing and one behind the right wing and also a viewpoint on the upper deck in front of the wings and like the other predefined camera points you're free to move these around however you want to get the right angle for what you choose and also the free movement gets the right positioning as well to give you the optimum viewpoint outside the window and so uh yeah that brings us sure now to an end so i hope i found this helpful in learning how to create your own camera viewpoints for microsoft flight simulator I hope it also helps you get a bit more out of the sim as well in terms of getting the passenger viewpoints exactly how you want it rather than using the static showcase camera which is certainly nowhere near as fluid with how you can look and move around. If you also have any other tutorial requests you'd like to see from me in the near future then please leave them down below in the comments as well as there's a very good chance I'll cover it at some point as over the next few weeks I plan to do a few more of these kinds of videos teaching more people the basics on how to fly with a Microsoft Flight Simulator. Otherwise, thank you for watching, you take care of yourselves, and hopefully I'll see you guys again in the video very shortly. Take care, and goodbye.